All right, everybody, went ahead and uh, making a video here to show you how I did that American flag and changed the thin blue line. Somebody asked me how to do it in one of the groups. So I don't think my instructions were very clear. It's easier to just show you. So this is the image after I had already uploaded it and cleaned it up. And I just make it bigger so I can see it. Notice the stars didn't come out all perfect, but that's okay because I wanted that really distressed flag look. If you know anything about the stuff that I make, it is very rarely pretty. So I took my shapes, took my square. Right here I can unlock the uh, square to make it a rectangle. I make it to fit just over the line that I want to remove. So now that I've removed that, I select all of the uh, image, select slice, move off this rectangle, delete it, move off the second piece of the layer, delete it, and now I can click just on that line. And going over to the right here, I can change the color to blue. And now we've got the image made. If I were go to make it, you would now see that on the left side, I have the black image, which is the entire flag, sans the one stripe. And then on the other one, it's just the blue. When I did this, I just peeled this two little strips up and lined them up by hand on this paper. It wasn't too hard of an image. I didn't have to have registration marks. I didn't have to... Uh, do any of the really complicated things. It was actually pretty straightforward. The only hard part was weeding the Oracal 5100, I think, which is the reflective vinyl for emergency vehicles. That is uh, very delicate stuff. It's hard to cut through, and then when you're weeding it, it really wants to rip all of the time. So I have not found a good pressure setting for that yet. I tried glitter. I think next time I'm going to try uh, cardstock and see how that works. Anyway, just wanted to give you a quick video to show you how I did that. Thank you.